Hey guys, this is uh, one of my inventions. There's two different drawings, two different concepts, but using the same principles, uh, using uh, gravity, uh, buoyancy, and fluids. Uh, anyway, uh, normally uh, Newton's law, where you know every action has an equal and opposite uh, uh, reaction, uh, it's basically laws of motion. Uh, do apply for a lot of uh, a lot of free energy uh, concepts. That's why they don't work. Uh, but this is a different because uh, uh, buoyancy is a separate uh, energy source outside of uh, uh, motion. So in other words, let's say you push a, uh, a, a stroller and then it goes uh, down the hill. Uh, you pushed it and then gravity takes over down the hill. Um, same concept here. Uh, the uh, buoyancy is, is a separate energy source. It pushes the, uh, uh, itself. To rotate, so um, then the gravity takes over and it makes a spin. Uh, that's the same concept. Uh, uh, basically, what I'm trying to say is that buoyancy is a separate energy source. Remember, uh, gravity is always uh, constant, never stops. Uh, gravity will always pull you to the Earth. Um, it's, uh, 365 days, uh, and it's, it never stops. It's never ending, and, and it's created by the spin of uh, rotation of Earth. Also, at the same token, buoyancy also is created by the spinning of the Earth. You have two different kinds of free energy uh, opposite to each other. Uh, and they're separate energy sources. When you have two separate energy sources, then it actually works. It's like you, you yourself is one separate energy source. You push or you kick the ball and the ball keeps on rolling. But you initiated the, the kick you are the separate energy source. In this case, the uh, buoyancy is a separate energy source that is used to create a motion. Then motion and gravity takes over. So these concepts are pretty amazing. Um, but let me uh, explain how it wor actually works. These are filled containers of fluids. It could be water or any other kind of fluids. And inside we have a metal sphere. This metal sphere has uh, gases, or air, or any kind of uh, such uh, as that, uh, in this case air, that makes it float upward. But because the metal sphere is made of metal, on this side we have a magnet. So if the floater sphere, which I, which I call that as a floater, uh, it's a sphere with uh, air, it floats upward. Uh, uh, as it floats upward, the metallic sphere attracts the magnet either direction, up or down, depending on where it floats. In this case, it floats this way. So the the, the magnet uh, attaches to the uh, sphere will float this way. Remember, uh, in this case, let's pretend these canisters are made of plastic. But anyway, so over here, as it rotates and uh, um, as it stands up, the, the, uh, the sphere will go this way and it's got a, a, a magnet here and it's got a, a rod and at the end of the rod, it's got a wheel. And this rail system we have here, it's a 45 degree or other angle uh, degree. Um, it, it'll start ro rotating, and it, what it does is pushes the, the canister this way, and uh, by the uh, uh, the floater, uh, by buoyancy, and then as it pushes this way, it falls back. And then as it falls back, the gravity takes over, and it makes a spin, and then the next one kicks in over here. So it's a never ending process. So you have gravity pulling it this way and uh, buoyancy driving this this uh, sphere with oxygen or, or other gases and the, and the magnet pushed upward with it and it has a rod and a wheel and as it, the, the, the rod goes this way with the wheel against uh, the rail it pushes it this way so now it tilts the uh, uh, tilts the uh, canister and it falls back and then gravity takes over. It's a never ending process. So this is this is above water system. Basically it doesn't need a water to be submerged. So because the water or fluids of any kind they're in, uh, contained inside the tubes. Now on this concept this is under the water. So this system is under the water and it, it's basically it's the same concept except this is under the water and this is above water. Um, both inventions, I believe, uh, have a great potential. 
this is my invention, and actually, I, I honestly came up with it yesterday uh, at night. And for some reason, I I was um, I couldn't sleep for the last two hours at night time. Um, I, I I just kept me awake. This this the concept, and and, uh, and it just struck me like this is uh, this is uh, this is major. This is huge. Uh, people don't realize it. If you, you know, um, I know there's Newton laws that says you, you can't go free energy, but yes, that's I, I agree with that. But that's if you have uh, one energy source um, that's separate. It actually it, it, it goes with it. You know, like a person pushing the cart and it rolls down the hill. Well, in this case, you have gravity pushing itself. Not I'm sorry, a downward as it falls by gravity. Then um, then they have uh, buoyancy. Pushing the rod upward, and, and and pushes itself to the side, so you have gravity falling down, and then you got buoyancy pushing uh, on its side. So basically, the free energy source as a human person that pushes the uh, uh, an object would be the buoyancy. Buoyancy is acting as a uh, the outside energy source that pushes itself outward, and so that extra outside of energy source outside the of the uh, the Newton laws, well actually it goes with it, but uh, it's an outside energy source, just like electricity. You know, electricity is an outside source, and it makes motors work. So uh, buoyancy is an outside energy source that is created by the rotation of Earth. Um, yes, it actually would actually make sense that it will actually work. Uh, but the only way to prove that is actually to build one. But this is my invention. I, uh, this is a Megatron's free energy gravity buoyancy wheel. And it's a very simple and awesome concept. Um, hope that actually it does work. And I know there's a, uh, there's a, uh, many inventors have tried all this kind of stuff, but um, this is different because this is using an outside energy source. So actually, it may actually work. Um, and you know, a lot of people, a lot of inventors try to actually invent something with free energy. I, I just like to do this for uh, the free energy crowd. Um, not for any other purpose. Uh, I know that a lot of inventors try to do free energy stuff because they want to become famous, because they want to uh, uh, win a prize. You know, there's a prize going around that anyone that comes up with free energy concept that act that actually works, keyword that actually works, will get a will get a prize. Uh, I'm not really interested if if it happens well. If it doesn't, oh well. Um, but also, they always say, oh, uh, they say that uh, free energy concept. Uh, it will make uh, someone extremely rich. Well, by me showing the world this concept, uh, I'm not making the money. I'm not making any uh, any money. I don't make a dime on this. This is just uh, for the world. And not only that, uh, free energy uh, it benefits the the green peace, the the green energy uh, world uh, by not burning fossil fuels. I I'm a, I don't even care for either or. But the 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 point is that this will benefit the 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 energy conservation uh, uh, purpose, uh, walking away from uh, fuel sources and oil companies and, and gas and cars and stuff. Um, but either way you look at it, everybody's switching to electric cars anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, but this invention concept is awesome and, and kind of cool. Uh, this is for. Uh, the world and uh, whether it works or not uh, your guess is as good as mine I I thought about it deeply and the more I thought about it I thought maybe this could actually work because buoyancy is an outside source of energy just like a person like a human like a uh, store energy and electricity it's an outside source uh, and when you have outside source you can you can create motion um, and, and then motion takes over by gravity um, anyway, this concept is awesome. You guys take care, um, and I hope it uh, it actually works. If it does, it's going to change the whole world, because up to now, there hasn't been not even one single invention that actually works with free energy. Um, they may actually claim that it actually works, but not even one single free energy concept actually works. Um, this may actually work. I'm not saying it's going to actually work, but it's got a, a um, great potential that it may actually work and the only way to prove it or disprove it is actually build such a concept invention and see if it works and if it does work it will change the world you guys have a good one